Alright, let's continue the Narcissus Cross uh, quest. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we're here already. Okay. Mm. Text already. Here displayed is an Narcissus Cross Ordo's optical coupling transmission design. This patent for this design came from our passionate sponsor, Mr. Eliphas. Eliphas. Okay. Mm. Exit. Huh? <laughs> there wasn't really much point in teleporting there to continue the quest. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how long the quest should take, so I I'm not gonna waste time doing those puzzles that I can do at any time later. Okay, we will need that as well. Try to help with that. Yeah, this goes really fast. <laughs> if I remember, I'm coming back up here. <laughs> uh, I passed already? Oh. Goes to the lower level. Yeah, by the description, I thought I had to go to the lowest level. Huh. Okay, so I do have to solve that. Alright. Um, okay, so one, one. All of those have one? don't quite get there. Just falls. Ah, better. This one is stronger than the other one. Ah, good. Oh, I didn't know I could make a huge one like that. One man's stone is another man's gem. Uh, but isn't that it? I thought that was what I had to do. Come on! 
Even making the sound. Alright. Certificate Miss A. Letterman, formal Narcissus and Cross or Domain Bear, level 3. Uh, as a famous book merchant, Miss Letterman has used something to describe Narcissus and Cross teachings in an easy to follow manner, thus making extraordinary contributions to the spread of our tenets. It was for this reason that she was granted an exceptional promotion to level 3. Man, they are Scientologists. How it took me so long to, to realize that. Uh, Madden M. Laveau. Formal Narcissus Cross member, level 4, after returning home from Netland. Uh, Madeline Laveau has since dedicated herself enthusiastically to the great ideals of Narcissus Cross. An authority on beauty, she is also highly skilled in div divination using something, making her very popular with other ladies. Not only has she provided the order with something from Netland, but she has also contributed greatly to promote the Ordo's good name in high society. Certificate Eric something formal assistant cross order member level two a famous historian from the Institute of Network Philosophy who has dabbled in the study of various ancient civilizations. After the Institute disbanded, the, he joined the Ordo at Mr. Ingold's invitation. He has since continued his research into Remorian civilization. Mr. Griffin L. Randolph, honorary Narcissus Gross Ordo member, level 1. Mr. Randolph comes from a long line of wealthy nobles. His generosity has provided the Ordo's archaeological aspirations with ample financial support. Unfortunately, he has remained unable to pass level 1 tests despite making several attempts, due to his inability to remember the relevant keywords. On account of his passion and by the special permission of Mr. Ingold, has been granted honorary membership and level 1 access. Okay, because of his money.
Oh. Oh. It returns a little bit. Oh, that all was returning. Just the one, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> hey, order guide you. Stabilize. Be sanctified. Abandoned property belongs to whoever finds it first, so it's legally yours now. Solidify! Shoot! Ah! Settle down! <clears throat> Let's begin. This could get a little chilly. Silence! Karazawa, former Resistance Guards member. Uh, Barun, this name be from Inazuma. Uh, I thought those people were all from Fontaine, trying to avoid the doom that was coming to Fontaine. A uh, scholar from Inazuma, staying in Fontaine, he was displayed. Great, he has displayed great fervor for Resistance Guards teachings in his past level one test. So we hope that he. Will could spread the teachings in Inazuma, he seems to, for reasons of his own, prefer living in Fontaine. He is also a romance novelist of some fame, and his work is peppered with hidden memorial riddles. His success is intimately related to the Ordo's research. Mrs. Gufria, former Narcissus and Gross or the member and a famous dancer. She has been most generous in her sponsorship of the Ordo and has herself reached level 3. On a certain Sunday, Narcissus Gross healed her injured leg and awakened her genius. Just that. Ooh.
nothing to read here. You can make the opposite path I should. Huh, it's open already. I don't know. What's there? One of the keys designed by the intersection cross order for the tower. Okay, it seems important. Why was the path open then? When combined, the keys form a peculiar shape of three and a half circles. Huh? For which there is a special explanation. The innermost circle is the circle of Hyperborea, symbolizing the age when the world was frozen in the lost paradise. Soon. Okay, I... Ah! There's one there as well. Oh no, that's... It's the other one. Have another uh, we combine, uh, the middle circle is a circle of Natlantian, symbolizing the triumph over the evil dragon, a metaphor for humanity's victory over nature as well as the beasts within themselves. But doesn't that have to do with Natlan? circle and outermost half circle are the cycles of Remuria and Crown Aria, symbolizing the relationship between humans and gods. Okay, how do I... I don't just fit them together. Abandoned property belongs to whoever finds it first, so it's legally yours now. Okay, I would need that. Uh, I thought I would leave. I estimate the height of the tower. And we're almost at the bottom. We may have to face Narcissus and Cross if we continue to descend. Or isn't that the idea? The world is about to welcome its own answer. It will it be destruction or salvation? Or perhaps Narcissus and Cross version of salvation? Please, who wants to escape the apocalypse their way? If Paimon has to leave, she'll make Ingo take her away from Tivat. I'm going to save everyone. Hey, Paimon wasn't saying she'd just watch everyone bite the dust. And there aren't any riddles or 
pursuers here. So why don't we get some rest and prepare ourselves here? Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. Everyone, the door to the next level seems to be blocked. Do you require me to put my engine into overdrive to get enough horsepower to break through? That won't be necessary. We decide to rest and re reorganize here anyway, so we should just be cautious and look around for a key. And we've discovered that it's a door without a key, then I'll kick it open myself. Uh, lore wise, do we have to go there? Ah, even with Paimon. If we just leave there, one I suppose I'm gonna just stay there indefinitely. Starbook, this is a strange fairy tale with some comments written in purple ink was the purple man that wrote that. The rabbit's pocket watch is, in truth, beginning to dream. The, the beginning of a dream. The watch is a precise timekeeper, but the flow of time in dreamland is madness. When the clock chimes, all shall end. Mary Ann, whom people often mistake little for, could, but could it not be that they were at first one and the same? The caterpillar has all the hallmarks of maturity. The pipe, the reading glasses, the knowledge. Yet the larva, a larva he remains. Not yet a butterfly. One who lacks the confidence to break through the a cocoon shall die before ever becoming so. But moths have no moth parts. And thus they can only leap into the flames. Um... Uh, the Queen of Hearts, the one who loved to take heads. The White Knight, who mumbled about his little inventions. The Red Queen, in the end, it was all her dream, and she was a little mother cat. Okay, I ha I got it before that the Red Queen was a <laughs> reference to Alice, but... I didn't know they actually had the whole story of Wonderland here. Oh, no. Red is the foundational principle, the philosopher's stone, while yellow represents the gold and mortal temptation. Yellow is simply bait. Red is the final goal. However, Karia would likely seek the truth for God's sake before turning that truth into a bread production pipeline. So, uh, there are some Narcissus Cross notes in books here. Interesting as they may be, none of them have a conclusion. Caterpillar, I have a question. Ask away. The members of the Order clearly hate Clockwork Mecca. Do they? They've been using it all the time. So why are there so many gears in this tower? Now that is an interesting question, but all I can offer is my own conjecture. My opinion, the theme of this place isn't gears but bells. The chime of a bell holds special meaning even for people like Jacob and Narcissa Cross. A special meaning? When the bell tolls, the world ends. The adventure is over, or are you simply awakened from the dream? Who knows? How can I help you, Knight Ignis? Both Caterpillar and Seymour are helping out, but I don't seem to be of any use now. Don't worry about it. I'm always in here. Of course, I understand. Though, it's obvious that we can just kick it open. We reach an understanding to do some investigating instead. I suppose this is us trying to mentally prepare ourselves after a fashion, right? Hello, how may I assist? About the Gardamax? Do not worry, all of them are inactive. We consider their extreme age and the fact that they are early models, the probability of them waking at all is far from certain. According to the records of those with me, assessing the level below will trigger their activation sequences. At that point, around 60% of them will activate successfully. As for the remaining 40%, it's not guaranteed that they will 
fail to activate either. Uh. At least this has changed the slow march of time has reduced the danger we are about to face. You are starting to confuse me. Apologies, Mr. Eames. But if we know for sure that they will activate once the door is open, can't we start breaking them before opening the door? Inus, why are the people so fond of immersing themselves in dreams? Marianne weaves the dream encircling everyone, and Narcissus Cross is living in his dream of saving the world. And I'm the one who's worried about tomorrow. So it's understandable if you don't understand Paimon. Uh, because Paimon is a time to live in the present. But if it's a dream, you have to wake up eventually. And there are only two things you can do after waking from a dream. You can try to go right back to sleep and return to the same dream. Or you can face yourself in the waking world. And since you've woken up, it's time for breakfast. So uh, you can reward yourself with a nice chicken mushroom skewer. It's time to wake up again and bravely face reality for another day. You can do it. Wait, so that really was foreshadowing. Foreshadowing? What foreshadowing? Uh, I see Capilla have found a key. Hmm. Well, well, guess what we have stuck between the pages, Ignis? Oh, it's a key. Indeed, and Samers already used uh, sonic imaging to do a run analysis. It really is the key to that door. The Fontaine's authorities raided this place before, why didn't they find this? Perhaps the answer is that it was simply never raided. Having looked through the notes here, I think I can understand why. Why he simply closed the door and completely left. Uh, what are you trying to say? It's nothing. Perhaps this is enough. After all, there are clockwork methods below them may come to life at any second. Time to go. Small key that can even be used as a bookmark. Why was it not confiscated? And why does such tiny keys open such important door? Seriously, nothing. Are you same or no? Oh, investigation log. This report collates various other reports written during the archaeological studies conducted in the temple ruins, including, as the report includes large amounts of, related to said plane, it is only available for internal consumption. It is prohibited to disclose any of the following content in speeches or official publications to external parties. As to how to decipher the stone tablets and bronze slates, we hit a massive roadblock right from the start. Most of the texts previously discovered in other, in other golden troop ruins and legacy copies we got from collections were all from Fontaine's early nation building stage or later. As such, most of these texts were written in Fontaine's script. This time we unearthed a great, a great number of antediluvian bronze slates and stone tablets which all use ancient Remurian script. Regarding Remurian characters, they seem to be some form of phonography, of which we currently only recognize a single digit amount. For the longest time, we treated them like simple musical notes, and undertook many trials on that basis without any progress. As such, we hit an impasse in our research. Until after being reminded by Mr. Eric, we found an ancient copy preserved in the Institute of Natural Philosophy made progress in deciphering the documents. It's the first step in a long journey, but we have already surpassed all previous scholars of the esoteric. Regarding morality, morality while this might conjure up empty talk of ethics today, 
it had more practical significance to the ancients. Complete mastery over the body by one's will was considered the consummation of human virtue, a pinnacle that only gods and the rarest of mortals could come close to attain. Following moral decay, the will became shackled to bodily form. Willpower withered, and humanity became entirely enslaved to the flesh. The ancients would see this as a separation from civilization's communal body, an external sundering from music and the divine, coming next of kin to the beasts. Regarding the concepts of spirit and will, just as the people of Sumeru had specialized terminology to illustrate different stages of plane growth, Fontanians had more than 20 words describing water's various aspects. However, the ancient study and differentiation of the spirit reached heights that we ourselves found challenging to attain. While, for the most part, it was divided into memory, wishes, soul, in persona, a spirit's qualities still carried complex distinctions. Among these, the state that came closest to the perfect freedom that div divinities possessed was named true will. The detachment of human will with such meticulous research as a jumping off point, perhaps it was through this power that the ancients achieved transcendence from the physical realm. Despite these remarkable achievements, they were unable to escape their fate, which appeared preordained. preordained. Regarding Fortuna, myth, proverbs, and poetry are all that we have compiled so far in, in connection to Fortuna. These findings deviate significantly from initial expectations. At best, they could be described as vague inferences and a priori assertions, perfect of quantifiability or scientific rigor. They appear exceedingly rudimentary and primitive when compared to the world formula. Furthermore, as expected, this seems to be an attempt to make up for some shortfall. The ancients even made no small amount of errors in their selection of materials. This was unavoidable, aside from analysis of the will and the seal of chemical marriage. There was hardly any utility to be found. When faced with the fact that the ancients were deceived by such falsehoods of 4,000 years, one can only wonder if it was a matter of faith or folly. Okay, I think it was too much text and a bit confusing. Nothing here. The common probabilities arrayed here are quite the terrifying sight. Nah, easy. Ah, uh, we're gonna have a fight, so you guys are gonna help me. Oh, you changed back, Caterpillar. Well, we do need to be ready for a fight after all. Look, these must be the security installations that were left behind when the tower was sealed. I'm afraid attempting to access the lowest level will trigger their activation sequences. Your guess is correct, I've checked. This clockwork mecha can indeed still be activated. In other words, there is also a possibility that they will fail to activate. They've been here for all these years. Well, this is the first time in all these years that the Holy Blade on their system cross has been restored. In the design from back then is accurate, the Holy Blade itself is the key that will open the final seal. But didn't they build that? If everyone's ready, let's get started. Okay, I still think we should be able to hit them before. And let's bring in this one end. Let's go. The final juncture awaits. Same more. 
when the two of you are attacked, my permissions will activate, authorizing me to take action against official armed forces. As such, there's no need for concern. Whoa, it feels like the floor is moving. You are floating. It's the beginning of the end. Ooh. Oh, the whole island sea kid. There's a hole underground, underwater. Ah, but it would. Ah, oh, come on, you guys could activate all at once. Bow your head. The tides beckon. Inus, Paimon, Caterpillar, Seymour, is everyone alright? Yes, it seems that we can now proceed deeper down. Let's go while there's still time. There's still a bunch of clockwork mecha here. Go now, leave this area to Seymour and I. We will group at the Narcissus Cross Order. Good luck. Damage. There is no need to worry about us. My combat assessment shows a 100% chance of survival. Really? So. Uh, you're not caterpillar and uh, leap and seal, okay. Is it rough for it to be a hundred percent certain of anything? Looks like caterpillar and Seymour are stuck on the other side. Yeah, I wanted to check there to fight them. Just a moment. Okay. Uh, same work, caterpillar. Don't worry about that, and they're strong. Besides, we agreed that we'd meet back up at the order after all this is over, didn't we? And don't forget, we're both here with you. You're right, Paimon. I've seen how strong, smart, and kind you both are. There's nothing to fear with you two here. Nothing to fear at all. That said, Paimon's a little scared herself. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. There's no hardship we can overcome. We have to keep moving forward. Okay. Oh, there's no telling what we'll run into next. Let's be careful. Uh, actually... Oh. Okay, the arch arc act wasn't too long. I avoided coming to the bottom of the ocean because I thought it could trigger a quest or something. Now I won't be able to ever get there because there's a tower in the way. Oh, the Primordial Sea? Is this the Primordial Sea? Is it safe for N to... Oh, yeah, yeah. They would... They were turning back into... Uh... Also, it's... So, it's safe for N to be here. But I did have some side effects for... Ingesting it. 
So maybe it's not so good for me to be swimming here. The day of return has arrived. Oh yeah, so who was that? Narcissian Cross is able to be in contact with the primordial sea. Oh, or maybe he became all giant Josephine or something. Okay, so I guess this would be mostly a big fight, and then uh, some talk before saying goodbye to them. Oh, transition cross. I sense reason. Visitors, are you the successors of, to the Narcissian Cross or are you a threat? You have drawn your weapons. I see your answer. Narcissian Cross. Uh, this thing is Narcissian Cross. If you have heard my name, then you know of my quest to save the world. And there is a chance that you can be saved. You draw your weapon at me only because you have been misled by untruth. But this is no time for me to waste my powers. Wonder and rejoice. When all is over, I shall explain, I shall demonstrate. But now, place the holy blade in my hand and flee to safety. We're not giving you the holy blade. Foolish, foolish. But I forgive you and will save you nevertheless. I can sense that the four orthans have been reversed, but the tree of flowing is not yet complete. It is no longer possible to save everyone. I will extend my benevolence as far as possible, even if it makes an overdraft of my own life force. If only five, five in ten can be saved, I will try to save six in ten. Now I shall come to take the holy blade. Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, uh, why are you turning to opposing me? Uh, do you not know the Apocalypse Knight? Okay, there it covers me. Uh, hang on. Trial! <laughs> Him? Ah, good, it will be a sword. Then sword on the season cross. Uh, 80. Holy Sword. In countless stories, the weapon that befits the legendary hero is also the key to opening all gates, required to surpass the climax and reach destinies, the Thun Mage. The Sacred Blade in dwelt with great enough reason and will to create and destroy a universe or dream. This is a side quest, but it really fits him. You would be so much better if he started using that on cutscenes instead of the Basis one. I don't know. I don't know if that's what I have equipped on him. I. Oh no, no, it's completely trial. I I have full constellations already. Yeah. 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 I haven't played that much, but this feels like Kindle Hearts. It appears that violence in the universe won't allow me to show the essence of immortality in judgment. There's not enough time to read all that, especially during a fight. Will this ever end? Or no? Go! Mm, I don't think 
pursuing. Bad. That's bad. I'm dying. Okay, this doesn't seem to end. Um, no, what I want that. Was I supposed to die? He wasn't take damage. Okay, I guess I wasn't supposed to die. What was I supposed to do? No, just skip, skip, skip. We read all that. He wasn't take damage, and I didn't notice anything else I could do. Yeah. 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 In the laws of the material world. What are we going to do? Oh, I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that. There's a reason, guy, your escape. Put I face your. So that means you need to avoid those rich like things? I don't know, I didn't really read all he said before. Well, Blaze is guiding us towards the touch bubble, and uh, has come in deep mysterious philosophical. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
games with such strength. So I have noticed I always win the realm of two or two who are equal to a world. Espera a reunion body. Impossible. I had already reached the stage of no return. How have I fallen to this point? And I have lost all control of the primordial sea. You were controlling it, so you could just uh, prevent the apocalypse. Why, why has this happened? Why did you do this? The new world cannot be born. Uh, all will die in a shell, a husk of a dream. Palma reckons you're the one who should try waking up from your dream. The end of the world is the kind of thing that everyone should work together to stop. I see. The Holy Blade is not on my side. With each swing, it cuts through universal, the universal will that surrounds me. Until, alas, my weak, ordinary self has returned to its physical body. The primordial sea won't overflow its bank so soon. The creature has already been defeated. The creature has already been defeated. I should have sensed the changes in the values originally entered into the world formula. A variable has descended upon this world. Not everything from outside of the universe can be called a presence or variable. But it seems I overlooked one nonetheless. You. The witness of all. The work recorder of all. The designer of all. Only one who is worth our world can bear, bear the title. Well, I once dreamed of becoming one just like you, but the dream is now shattered. All I have done is meaningless. An empty dream? No, less than a dream even. A dream is at least harmless, but I... No, you and they have paid so much for all I have done. Artisan Cross. Oh, it's you. I didn't see you there. Do you know who I actually am? Names are just labels, but yes. I am most familiar with the two colors that mix in your soul. Director Lyris does not know what has happened. She just holds on to Marianne, who herself still clings to life. She cannot understand such a complex pre present and future and hopes to retain the past, so and so she does the only thing she can. My name is Anne. In that case, hello Anne. I am willing to forgive you. Uh, what an odd thing to say. From the very start, my plans have had lofty and sacred aims. Selfishness has never come into it. None may judge or criticize me, nor do I need forgiveness. Your aim may be having loved, but your insanity has harmed many. You did not even enter the formula correctly, and what's wrong with being forgiven for a mistake? You're right, I apologize. So please, Artisan Cross, come back to back with us. There are other people you need to see. This guy seems to have become much more cooperative, but a request like that? Of course. Huh? Doesn't this sort of thing usually require some inner struggle and hours of persuasion? 
as I have said before, I do not feel that I have done anything wrong. My mission has failed, but the world has been saved nonetheless. Let others mock and curse me. I am to be thin now. Uh, only one desire remains. What is it? I too wish to return to the very beginning. To the time before the Narcissus Cross heroes set off on their journey. But that's impossible. We are not masters of our own fate. I no longer even have the power to determine my own dreams. Well, Nyanus, when you are ready, we'll proceed to receive the primordial waters and then we'll leave this place. Well, isn't that pretty simple for Novlet? I can talk to you. Well, is there anything else for me to do here? Let's go. I'm ready to leave. It's not like I have much to do here. Let's go. Yep, yeah, let's go. Uh, the entrance sealed once more with the power of the Holy Blade of Narcissian Cross. I see. The person who almost saved the world spoke. The Holy Blade need not be a sword. It could even be a go-haired outlander. And now, the younger sister, who never stood forth as part of the adventure, has grasped the has grasped a sword at last. With that, you return to the nurses across Ordu. I knew you'd come back in one piece. I'm very glad that you and Seymour are okay. In fact, the floor was quickly flooded by the rising water level, encapsulating the secret machinery. Mr. Caterpillar carried me out under his arm. I said in one piece, and indeed, everyone is accounted for, so how is there one more person here? Well, allow me to introduce Narcissus Cross, or rather, what's left of Narcissus Cross. Master, you've made progress, Caterpillar. You seem even more human now than you did centuries ago. I thought I'd be more excited to see you, but I feel unexpectedly calm. Over the last several hundred years, I've read many books and come to understand more about your teachings, as well as some of the absurdities in your theories. Image record of the individual known as Narcissus Cross has been updated. Please do not make any sudden moves, Narcissus Cross. Silly dog, you're not going to initiate a mass inoculation mode again, are you? I judge that the threat he constitutes to you is low. Still, do not make any sudden moves, Narcissus Cross. Ah, Alan Guillotine's creation. I once saw a bright future for it, that it could perhaps achieve the, what the ancient people's golems could not. Not that it matters now. Could you let me inspect its internals, just out of desire for knowledge, of course. Same as our companion, you know? Fine. Saving the world is usually just poetic rhetoric one employs to alleviate mental illness. Whether it takes the form of protection, protecting the flame of a candle until the pilgrimage is done, or writing a story that allows fiction to invade reality, did you recover from your malady in the end? Master, you know... Well, you now know what became of the Narcissus Cross Ordo. What will you do next? Uh, there may be a hint of irony in your voice when you call me Master, but I will accept it nonetheless. You surely know about your birth? I'm not interested in that anymore. You were, you were simply toying with life. A kind of indifference I find despicable. I will accept that too. Your attitude is so negative. Have you given up on yourself? I will answer your question then. My offer from before still stands. I will reveal the mysteries to them and answer any questions. In that case... Please take Anne to find out the truth about her origins. You explain the other Mary Antrim season cross. Ah, so that's what happened to the director and Marianne. 
I will help you, of course. It is something I ought to do. Let us go to the kingdom through the looking glass together. Well, as for your wish from before, Paimon, I've done everything I can. I'll be staying out of whatever happens next. Uh, what wish? Is your memory that much worse than mine? Didn't you ask me to help you help Anne and Seymour? Oh, right, but why don't you want to come with us then? I think the next matter is very personal for Anne and Marianne, and that, that scene doesn't call for a character like me. But you, Innocent and Paimon, are different. You're the heroes of the story. Yes, the mighty hero in Paimon. Well, Paimon could actually be... Be what? Huh? You're not about to say something mean, are you, Caterpillar? Whatever do you mean? You're the kind guiding fairy at the hero's side, of course. Fine, Paimon will take that. Once you finish up over there, let us... Things that used to be a human have a little reunion. Should I go with Mr. Ignis then? Of course you should. I mean, you've been seeking the end of the quest this whole time. You too need an answer, don't you? I apologize, I don't understand. In the case, Seymour, you wait for us with Caterpillar. But shouldn't he go check if that's the Marianne that he's looking for? It's settled then. Uh, when it's just about time, we'll bring you then. Bring it to them. Understood. Same or caterpillar. Thank you. Shall we? Alright, let's go find Marianne. Hmm. Well, hurry up and get it done then. We do need to have a get together, don't we? The reason why I'm not worried about everything going smoothly is... Well, Narcissus is an absolutely reliable guide, so there won't be any issues with him around. An explanation? What do you mean? My operations require energy commands, not explanations. Still, maintaining a primary directive system and logic module that both cons constantly return errors has brought me to the verge of shutdown. Perhaps I do need some assistance. Uh, I can't teleport there anymore. And huh? the teleport was on the island. Oh, that's weird. Uh, I suppose now will be easier to get the uh the hydro up up there. And there are things around here already. Uh, there's new stuff around here. Yeah, but I could have avoided some stuff, right? Uh, what's up with that? Did it do something? Open this. Oh, okay, let's continue. It's even worse than last time. How did everything... How's everything back to the way it was? Yeah. And you of the pure water visualize detail. 
what this place would be like if all obstacles were seated before you. Will that do anything? It appears said before that the story has already lost its meaning. As such, these imaginary things aren't necessary anymore. Uh, this is how it might be for a low-level seeker. However, you are also the master of this place. Some believe the world to be only a prison of suffering, devoid of meaning, but you wield power over this place. So rewrite it, imbue it with meaning. Only the hubris of one who believes themselves above the world can give rise to miracles. Had I not fervently believed I was about the apocalypse, I would not be where I am now. Are you saying that you also believe the world has meaning? Why else would I, uh, would I have made so many plans to save it? On second thought, perhaps Caterpillar right, was right, and one only seeks the world's salvation to prove that they themselves deserve it. Pavan doesn't really get what that means. Only by transforming oneself into a being of light to bring hope to a darkened world may one be permitted to enter the eternal kingdom of light after death. Our martyrs who perish for the world's sins uh, unserving of salvation. Uh, Paimon gets it and doesn't get it at the same time. It is no matter, my teachings no longer have, have an audience. Also, it end. Can you do what I said? I'll give it a try. Whoa. You're amazing, Anne. You're amazing, Anne. Thank you, but I don't feel that amazing. Why is that? Because this is something you would normally take for granted. We have simply remembered a fragment of your origin. Let us press on. You're most talented and you like to hurt. Notice across, I'll pass. Is what I can do. Hmm. Oh, look at the rear. Allow me. Again, the hang of magic seems. I must explain this place. So many deploy like that, just like Romari had people I had to protect. Inus. Oh. I believe you on my Inus. Make. <laughs> Same thing. I must force my hand, I must defend this place. Okay, that's what I had to do. I was remembered to come back right here. Uh, Precious some nubbish to see. Mm. 
go back. Please, I beg of you. Marianne's voice is really getting weaker. It's gone from a command to a request. Still, it sure doesn't look like she's begging us. Can you push yourself still further and... It's fine, since we've already come this far. There's no point turning back now. Forgive me, Marianne, but we must get through this place. You got rid of them all, Anne. It's pointless to resist the truth. And merely denied that futile resistance. Let's keep moving forward. The door here is shut. How are we going to get inside now? Oh, if we can get in, then can we get that this in corridor and room and can jump down in the place where we found our scissors? No problem. Allow me to enter the to ensure this visit of ours won't be in vain. Leo is also nothing more than a figment of the Red Emperor's dream. And this time it's time to wake up. Indeed, if that is the case. Oh. We are not pauses. Okay. <laughs> mm, wasn't this the book? Wasn't this the book? just leave us here in peace Marianne we we should be able to help you this time please let us in no I don't need your help please leave I'm begging you Princess Laris your story should have uh, should have you living happily ever after uh, I won't give up this barrier is composed of an extremely hard and resistant will the Holy Blade is in your hands now, Inus. If I remember correctly, the Holy Blade should be able to cut through any wheel that comes from water. Correct, clever one. I've got it. Sorry, Marianne, just bear with us. Don't come back here again. It's warm here, and I like it that way. Don't come to me with your expectations, with a determined look on your face. Just leave me alone till the consciousness that keeps this form together fades away. But no one is safe, and that's great. Just let me decay here on my own until everything has broken down. Till nothing more than a puddle. Please stop and begging you, stay away. These are an pauses. That works, that wasn't the surge. Well, kind of ease the surge, right? Why are you doing this? Is the truth really that important? What's wrong with forever? dwelling on dreams of the past. It may be that the truth isn't that important, but the future is. Indeed, even if you all regard me as a villain, I have never once given up on the future. Wait, you are? That is correct. I am Narcissing. Rene? Yes, I am Rene. This is who I am now. I'm most pleased to see you both as well as Anne. Your present state could be said to be something beyond human or ocenid, a state of transcendence. As a human is to ape, so is superhuman to human. You are now the meaning of fountain itself. 
is this really good time to be saying this sort of stuff? You don't think about anyone else's feelings, do you, Narcissus and Cross? My apologies, I am responsible for the circumstances that led you all here. It's okay, I already forgive him, Marianne. Please, look at this. This is... That's him. This is the eternity I've always longed to protect. Rene? Yes. I can't forgive Narcissus Cross just yet, but Rene is a different story. The Narcissus Cross Institute was our home. Why did things turn out this way? It was likely doomed from the to be thus from the moment Alain had us act out our, our the story of the hero Narcissus Cross and the evil dragon over and over. I too miss the way things used to be, but Narcissus Cross was born out of the delusion of salvation and what a protracted dream that was. But I was roused from the dream, now it is your turn. It's not a contradiction to accept your past as well as how you live your life going forward. That's what Caterpillar told me. The apocalypse has been stopped and the future is, still f is full of possibilities. The future holds more for you than just pain, this I promise you. If you cannot accept yourself, could you allow Anne to merge with you? Uh, then use the Holy Blade on Sisyphus to separate the person of Lyris and young Marianne. Oh, Minister, I'm willing to accept the past. Our little hero Anne's adventure is hers alone. I will live on as myself and see what the world you risked everything to save is like, Rene. Uh, the whole blade of Narcissa Cross is... I see. Your will has been conveyed, Marianne. The Holy Blade's purpose has been fulfilled and its, sign its significance in the story has ended. Ah. Uh. We will lost, lose the surge. Heaven doesn't totally get it, but doesn't mean that Ains won't be able to use that cool title anymore. Fine by me. No, that's too bad. Let's return to the original topic. You said that you like to see the outside, but this is now Guillotine's world. I doubt there will be much to see. However, if you can bring yourself to like it, that will be ideal. And Rene, shall we travel together? Absolutely. As for me, regrettably, I must you must allow me to decline. There's still something that I must do. Okay, in that case, don't forget to give me your address. I'll write to you about what Anne and I encountered on our journey. Just like when you and Jacob would tell me about what you saw in Sumeru. Except, I'm afraid our journey will have to wait a teeny bit longer. Caterpillar did say that we will have a reunion or something. That's right, we should. he should be here soon. Let's wait a little longer for him, shall we? Alright, you, you two do you. Let's take this opportunity to talk to Marianne, Ignis. Huh. Uh, perhaps I should have proposed a toast to you, to us who were once human. Though I don't think any of us could imbibe the way we are now. Was there anything that could not be said before we set off? I'm just giving you a chance. It, it may not have been a good time for you to say some things back there. You could tell, well, it cannot be helped. I have expended too much of my power, I shall not remain able to maintain myself for long. But why? We worked so hard to... But before I disappear, tell me what you have learned over these last few centuries. I would like to know what sort of dreams you had. Until I met Knight Inus and Paimon, I was always searching for Princess Lyris. 
after even after learning the truth that I was just a character in someone's dream, I have no regrets. That's because I've already com completed the best and greatest adventure of all. Perhaps my reward is being able to turn my dreams into reality. I was just going back back and forth between prison and books, occasionally dreaming about parts of my previous life. There were times when I wondered whether the butterfly became me or I became the butterfly. But once I awoke, I would realize that I was only a caterpillar. The butterfly is also me, but whether it's the future or past me is hard to say. Dreams, magic, memories, esotericism, esotericism, all that I once held dear now seems worthless to me. During the first 10 years, I focused all my power on preventing the dissipation of my will. During the years that followed, I used the potent will to construct a universe within myself to resist the coming fate. That is how I held on. I suppose it is the same for you, to build a beautiful dream out of the ruins of what was once our home. That is an incredible thing. Marion was right, it's warm here. Yes and no. I grow weary, and please leave, leave me here. Farewell. He never did change his name back to Renee, did he? Uh, what if life is just a dream? Oh, so this is where the adventure we and then had come came from. No wonder everything was so chaotic. It wasn't finished. Yeah, I couldn't figure out the an ending out. At that point, everything had fallen apart. But the more such things happened, the more we want simple happy endings. You know, sometimes you say I, and sometimes you say we. Are you really Marianne or Liris or the other thing they are always talking about? I don't know. Well, not that it matters anymore. And Caterpillar, you're back. Where's Rene? He... He was a bit tired, so he went to rest. Uh, well, Paimon hopes he turns over a new leaf and stops causing trouble. Seymour, you can come over now. Understood. Miss Marianne? Miss Marianne? Your new hair and eye colors are simply dazzling. Honestly, silly dog, is that all you can say? My language center is unable to express the information I am processing. I know, you're the same as ever. Sorry, I miss you so much. Right, so such things happen, huh? Then there's Jacob. Mr. Inus and Miss Paimo uh, description largely fits with the facts. But one thing must be addressed, must be added. My power output during combat has been far below expectations. This is because over 30% of my companies were damaged during the battle at Alienus and have not been maintained since. I hope you will consider this when evaluating my performance and will not choose to scrap me. Of course not. You have always been strong and brave. You are much more resilient than we are, Seymour. Indeed, my designer, Alan Guillotin, in Fontaine's leading engineer, uh, and the components I am made of represent the best of the nation's material science and craftsmanship. That's not what she meant. Your most formidable Seymour, that's not what you made. What are the next orders, Miss Marianne? Hmm. You decide, Marianne. As far as Seymour is concerned, I'm just in. Seymour, what would you like to do? My permanent directive is to accompany and protect you, Miss Marianne, on behalf of Alan Guillotine. Oh, you silly. Those were my brother's Alan instructions. I'm asking you what you want to do. I once promised Miss Mamir that once I found my mistress, I will return to her coordinates and thank her. 
And that was correct of you, good dog. Marianne, do you remember what you once said to me? Yes, Seymour, I hope you can become the master of your own fate. That in the future, you will do what you want to do. And what you think is right. Miss Marianne? Do I understand this correctly? Are you saying that my previously received orders should be regarded as no and void? Yes. So let me ask you again, Seymour. What do you want to do? I wish to remain by your side, Miss Marianne, but I also wish to accompany Miss Mamir. However, I calculate that the special requirement of those two wishes are incompatible. Perhaps not. We will be taking a trip to explore the world. And Miss Mamir is an artist, isn't she? Ah. Then let our journeys coincide. We will leave our footprints in the deserts, in the forests, and in the snowfields. In, in the lost ancient city of Eat, and in Arcadia, and in the golden Hyperborea. We will enjoy the sights we see and the stories we write together. What do you think, Seymour? Will we meet them again? around the world. I find that's a very reasonable suggestion, Miss Marianne, but I will need to ask for Miss Mamir's consent. Yes, of course. Let us agree to meet here. In any case, I am eager to meet this artist who kept you company for so long. Coordinates entered. So next. Inus, Paimon and Caterpillar. Uh, you were the bravest and strongest of all. Thank you, so, thank you so much. Wait, so I'm no longer a knight? This story, that story is over. And for me, for us, you, as you are now, are the realest and most important of all. And not just in the story when you play the role of a knight. Just like the Holy Blade in the story became a new sword when its mission was complete, so too will the knight return as a new person. Uh, Paimon can decide if you are praising or criticizing him here. It's a praise, of course. You have written an end to an unfinished, unfinishable story. And you have brought us a new tale. We'll never forget this. Oh, come on, there's no need to be so polite. Uh, I've also gained a lot from being able to play my role in this table, this tale. I hope you all have a wonderful trip. Caterpillar go with them. Yes, and I am confident we will meet again in the future. Then it is time for me to return to Miss Mamir's coordinates. We can come too, Caterpillar. Come with us, would you? Let's go, Samer. It's really let's see through this this route to the end. Very well, I will accompany you. Ah, I did get the surge. Uh, uh, the surge was supposed to fade when the story ended. We will now embark upon a new journey with the power that remains within each, which commemorates a certain great dream. Uh, when equipment character does not, does not have an arc. What is an arc? When normal attacks, surge attacks, and blood attacks track, Neomo with energy blast will be unleashed, dealing 106% of attack and damage. Uh, ah, okay, I think that may be one of the two types of energy. This effect can be triggered once every 12 seconds. The energy blast type is determined by the current type of this surge under six across. Uh, it's no longer this, the holy blade, it's just surge under six across. Um, are beautiful creatures. I don't have anybody they to search. Are the pride of okay, I suppose be just sure to be swaps. Um, I won't have much. And I can... Ah, I use that. So I can... So why the hell can I upgrade Kazuha's Surge? Especially refinement for 
material for the certain synchronous conditions of the favor materials and ancient spontaneous civilization, wearing ritual implements, origins. In the conch, closing with sanctified calis, finding merge symbolic this calis is a primordial word. The oils are on wheel and hold sword self with reason which breaks through all. Uh, where do I get that? It doesn't say here. Ah, from operatives. Equip it to Traveler. Uh, Prototype Rancor. Okay. Doesn't matter. That's his storage now. Forever. And Cause there no harm. Where would you most like to go right now, Marianne? Well, I remain far too long in that imaginary past world. You're still there. The world must have changed a lot after hundreds of years. I want to see this world beyond the glass wall. I want to experience new stories. Are you afraid, Marianne? Uh, no stories then, but I find it difficult to imagine that everything would end like this. From the moment I was born, the Narcissus Cross Kingdom was everything to me. I understand that you're feeling more uneasy than I am if you were born for this story. But from now onwards, you must start your own story and story. And I must slowly step away from the looming shadow of my past. Neither Lyra's memories nor Marian guillotines represent who I am now. We have a long path ahead of us, and. But I know you'll be alright. If you find yourself feeling afraid, we can come back here. If only ruins remain, a seed that drifts here will bloom. And so long as we remain, we can always rebuild a new home. Where is the boar dog? Can we come back here anytime we want? Okay, so we'll call Mamir. We're gonna get conscious. I usually buy those things. Ah, maybe the the weird shop that the Melusins have. Where here? Let me see. Got shiny stuff. What I have? No. So, who could sell me that stuff? <laughs> it was Pyro and Samer. You knew me. You knew to come back. Uh, is it just Pyro or you sound a little angry, Mamir? Yes, even without Ines and Bamon's help, my positioning and navigation of modules will have allowed me to return. Incredible. Wait, so are you were just surprised? Well, I knew you wouldn't disappear with the token that symbolized my life and birth. I also knew that Ines and Bamon would be sure to bring you back. Returning to your side is what I want to do. It's not a, it's not a concept I fully understand, but logic prompts me to do this. I believe this is correct. Uh, that's kind of complicated, and I can't say it, I understand, but never mind. It's just good that you're back. Oh, and this is. Hello, don't worry about me. I'm just along for the ride. Is that so? Well, you're fascinating. 
You're a fascinating color. Regardless, I'm delighted to see Seymour. I haven't heard from father since the message in Spasson, and then Seymour left. It was difficult for me. Oh, it looks like Mamir doesn't know what happened while you were in a daze. Everyone in Mercy Village helped me during that time. That's what made me realize that what father meant. Ah oh, yes, I've been learning a new style of painting while I was with them. Is it more novel than before? Is it even more novel than before? I think it will be easier to understand. Even the melusins of Mercy Village can tell what I'm painting now, rather than just saying, oh how lovely. Oh, but I can't wait to see your priceless masterpieces. <laughs> oh, and speaking of paintings, Mary mentioned something. Tell me explain the idea of a joint trip. Really, that sounds wonderful. Let's set off now, then on our round the world trip of artistic creation. Yes, let's go. No, this instant. I'll pack up my art supplies and clothes. You just sit tight and wait for me, alright? Yes, Miss Mamir. That was quick. Whoa, you sure are springing into action? Of course, I mean, if I don't act, your dreams will never come true, right? Paints, paints... While we wait, let me express my gratitude to you, Mr. Inus, Miss Maimo, and Mr. Caterpillar. This is based on my own judgment in what, as Miss Marianne says, I want to do. With your help, I have finally been able to complete my task. However, I still don't understand what it means to become the master of my own fate. Fate, you see, is a concept humans create to help them understand things. It is not real. Whoa, well, Paimon doesn't know how to explain this now. Didn't they tell you? Just do what you want to do. If you always do what you want to do, you become the master of your own fate. I see. And what I want to do now is to sit here and wait for Miss Mimir. Okay, in that case, Paimon wishes you all a good trip. Thanks, Paimon. Paintings to give them, paintings to give. Be a good dog, look after Mamir, alright? I will. It is what I want to do. You got a pillar, arrive outside. Mercy Village. I thought she would give us another painting. Or at least show us something that we could understand. So the tale of Narcissus Cross has ended. It is time for me to follow my own path. Where will you go, Caterpillar? That is a good question, Paimon. And since the beginning of time, only the most determined and resilient of people have found their answers. There you go again. I jest, I jest. For now, the only thing I can be sure is I can be sure of is that I still own Lenore half a story, but I don't know how it ends yet. I need there's a lot to consider. I don't know where I'll go, but there are a few things I need to find. Is that so? So goodbye, Inus and farewell, Paimon. Meeting you both has been but the most fortunate thing to happen in this life of mine. Goodbye, Caterpillar. Likewise, Caterpillar. Yeah, take care, Caterpillar. Don't let anyone find out who you really are. That'd be a pain. The Hilicho smiles before turning to leave. Okay, now it is over. Um, but I want to take a quick look here again. And back there. And where do I get those conscious? I'll have to look online. I don't suppose I'll just... It's over. Find them on chests. Oh, we may just find them on chests. No essential material was like that before, but... This may be around the area. Ah, that. Yeah, good thing I came back. Huh. 
That's pretty cool. Spare the Pinkango. Oh, I could grab that. I thought we would just examine it. Did you just steal it? She didn't say it was ours. Painting left for you. I, d I didn't read when I <laughs> clicked. Uh, Mamir and her good friends. Mamir do this other painting for you and Paimon, showing friends being happy together. During a brief party, Mamir has been busy studying different painting styles. This then is the result of many attempts to many attempts and iterations and is her greatest pride and joy. It won't sell for 500,000 mora or anything like that, nor can it be easily called beautiful. But to Mamir, there is no price to be put on this depiction of her and three people, who aren't people exactly, of unparalleled importance to her. Surely such a thing must be beautiful. Uh, okay, let's go back there to Narcissus Cross. I haven't fought that new boss yet, but I suppose it's just a blue version of Narcissus Cross. Uh, although I'm not sure now if you will have that. Um, that special attack that I had to to use charge attack. Okay, I suppose we can't anymore. Oh, we we can't here. Oh. Damned. That wasn't my intention. Oh, good. Will you that be open? Last time I came here, the door wasn't there. Mm, and I thought we would. Okay, we fought Narcissus once, but. They did say that wasn't the real one and stuff. It's a bit of a hassle to get here, but I suppose we have a house now. Not that we can do anything with it. Ah, hope's a nice word. We just a new life spring forth in a certain ruin. You and Caesar gonna buy this from me, obtain the greatest artwork in this world. Uh, an immortal emperor in a mundane universe, defeat our season cross. Something else. Season cross notes, what's left? What left its name behind, what lies spread all over the valley, what reflects itself in a mirror water, what symbolizes the lonely world saving sacrifice. Uh, no, 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 that's not important. Water comes in many flavors to the discerning palate. Mondstadt's okay. water is crisp and pure. <laughs> 
Let's just grab those. Um, you. What do you want? Okay. Uh, I guess I'll end it here. Okay. Oh, go on here. Yeah. All right. And I'm out.